Hi guys, today I'm going to make chicken Russian cutlets. To make this, I'm going to need these ingredients which I have listed in the description below as well. To start with, I've taken 500 grams of roughly chopped chicken in a pan. I'm going to add one small chopped onion, one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of black pepper powder. I'm going to add one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Top it up with water and put it for boil. I'm going to boil till chicken is fully cooked. As you can see the chicken breast is fully cooked. Now you can fish out chicken breast pieces and shred it. Do not throw the stock as we are going to use this while making the kebabs. If you want you can uh, pass the stock through a sieve to get rid of all the chopped onion if you, if you want to have a smoother consistency. For this recipe I'm going to leave the onions as is. In a pan I'm going to take half a cup of maida which is all purpose flour and fry it for about a minute and then to this I'm going to add about five roughly chopped chilies. I'm going to fry the maida till it starts changing color and turning a bit brownish. As you can see it's turning brown so I'm going to stop frying it and add shredded chicken to it. I'm going to mix it all well together so that chicken breast is evenly coated in all-purpose flour. As you can see it's all well coated. To this I'm going to add the stock. As I said I've left the onion inside but if you want you can strain it out to have a really smooth texture. Mix it all well together till the stock reduces and it thickens the whole mixture. It's all good to go. So now I'm, I'm going to add one cup of shredded cheddar cheese to it. If you want, you can add more cheese, more the better, as cheese makes everything taste delicious. Mix it all together till the cheese melts and it's nice and smooth. Once all the cheese is melted, I'm going to refrigerate it for about half an hour so that it cools down and makes it easier to make cutlets. At this point you can freeze this cutlets for consumption on later days and it can stay in your freezer for about a month or you can fry it immediately. To fry it I'm going to take two eggs Add one teaspoon of black pepper powder and half a teaspoon of salt. Mix it all well together. To fry now, I'm gonna take some oil in a pan. Once it's hot, I'm going to dip the cutlets in the egg mixture and add it to the pan. Fry about a minute or so on each side. And here your cutlets are ready. If you've liked this recipe then please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.